well, we basically stalked one of the designers that we um, modeled for in Portugal on a fashion show, and he it was from London. So we just, you know, asked him if we, you know, can show him some stuff and do a placement for him. And then he had a look at it, and he was like, "Yeah, cool, come over to London." And that was that. I'm doing the production sheets for the slash pants with the sequins down the front and the jacket. What I have, the, the changes that I have for the jacket is that they're leather sleeves and leather collar, is that correct? I graduated about three years ago and um, I've been interning at various places before coming here and I've only been here for about two weeks or so, so I'm in the deep end just towards the show. Yeah, I've been here the whole season, I've been here the longest. A friend of mine had worked here before and she said she had a really good experience and when you come to a small company you get to try out a lot of things so you get more responsibility like if you're in a very big company you'll just be making tea you know. With the Felder girls I think they definitely have a character in mind so um, and it always helps as a visual aid to have a reference. Um, as a makeup artist and as hairdressers uh, we help to realise the designer's vision so that's really important that we listen to them. My name's Peter Hook, uh, I play bass in Joy Division and uh, New Order, formerly. Um, I've known Arthur for, um, my God, 30 years, something like that, and um, he asked me to work with him and Layla on this, and uh, yeah, I mean, I do, if you asked me to walk over hot coals, I'd, I'd walk over hot coals for Arthur. <laughs> I think uh, music sets a tone for a runway show. Basically, wrong music can totally screw it up, and the right music can sort of make it a lot more exciting. So basically, in three of the, two or three of the shows, we've used Duke Spirits, which is Lila's group, and we just hit it off. And now I decided we should do a new song for the uh, for the show. Your way is so strong that I can feel it in the dark. The dog is called Lucy. She's a fashion dog. Hi, Hi Lucy. Hi. So this is Margaret's production in act. A lot of the clothes get made. Everybody's hard at work. Yeah, I've worked with the girls for I think it's just about three years together. You know, the style's more complicated. The fitting's better. I think they're more sellable, and at least they've got a super light. And then you've got a Madonna dress. Wow. <laughs> and that is a little different Madonna dress. I chose the, the triangular runway mainly because I'm very bored of straight runways. But then also tied to, um, to Robin's design, uh, the reason for the triangle as well is it gives a lot more front row seats. The, um, the venue used to be an old sorting office. You can see that's where the, the letters used to come down. Yeah, but it's one of the only buildings like this left in, in London, really. So we've got casting now. We're going to change into an item of clothing. We're going to photograph them in that item of clothing. Karen's walking to them, seeing what they're like. And then we're going to bring them outside into this big long corridor. And we're going to pretend it's a catwalk. And we're going to see what they're like walking. The first, the opening track and the closing track were, were tracks that existed and we did remixes and mashups. The, the, the closing track is a Madonna track and it's something the girls wanted. Madonna because it's sort of, their part of the collection has a bit of an influence, a Madonna influence. We don't really know how many uh, 
how long the girls take to walk because we haven't done a run through yet. So tomorrow after the run through, we can just fine tune it right before the show. The show isn't so much about selling, it's about press, seeing the collection and uh, enhancing our standing as a London based label. The first thing that you do when you go to a show, the very first thing that any makeup artist will do is go and have a look at the light and speak to the lighting technician. That's that's the key. <laughs> Ridiculous hours, especially the working last... towards something, and then it's like over in like ten minutes. 